Hey guys, we're back. Hopefully this recording works. Um, we've been having some issues with our recording software. Um, we've lost probably 10 hours of footage between Amber's series and this series. We can get live streaming working, but we can't seem to record videos for some reason. It's quite odd. Um, as you've noticed, I did do a little bit of work in one of the videos that we lost our recording capabilities. Um, added in a couple of rooms for chests, um, have been mining out a cavern, um, teleporting back and forth for a while now. Just noticed this, which is kind of a, ugh, uh, that stinks. We lost a door, and we've got meteor all up in our stuff. Ugh, <sighs> sad day. Oh well. Um... But yeah, I figured I'd try to do another recording. We'll see if it works. If it does, great. If it doesn't, guess it'll be the fifth time I've recorded this episode. Um, you're not going to hear me as hesitant to talk about some of the issues I've been hesitant about in the other recordings. Because I've already done it four times. Um, that does not mean my disorders, the things we talk about, are any easier to talk about. I just know what I'm gonna say and by planning it out I've been able to deal with the anxiety of doing it um I think we'll see maybe I'm wrong but um so we're gonna teleport real quick see if there's any zombies that I have to deal with um this was the latest one Trying to, oh! Trying to move this body so it doesn't fall in the lava real quick. Because that has a lot of stuff I do, in fact, desire. We're going to eat some food here. Adjust our mic so I can see a little bit better. Um, let's pick up some cobblestone. We're gonna brick that off a little bit. I'm just worried about the lava, but I really do want that gold, so. This is our method to our madness. We're gonna cover that up. But so, yeah. The disorder we didn't really talk about in the other video is the one I've always been the most hesitant talking about for two reasons. Well, for multiple reasons. Um, among them being that it is my, I apologize for the sirens, it is my newest disorder. Um. It's uh, the second reason being it seemed to, not understanding what was going on at the time, it seemed to develop out of nowhere. It also developed in a very odd manner compared to those who have it. So it was very hard to put a name to what was going on. And I've always prided myself that even if my brain doesn't work like a normal person's, I know what's going on with it. I'm able to tell if there's something really wrong if, the, if it's okay, if, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With this disorder cropping up the way it did, I did not have that ability or luxury of knowing what was going on, which made it 10 times worse. Um, that was my first issue with the disorder. Um, and, and the disorder, I know I, I tend to hesitate to bring up the name, um, is multiple personality disorder. It's now classified as disassociative identity disorder. Um, 
two different names for the same thing. And a lot of people think that means I'm particularly crazy and nutty. I'm not. Um, basically, the way my therapist described it to me and the way that makes the most sense to me was that through the choices I made in life um, to shut myself off from other people, to protect myself, while made for good reasons, did a lot of harm to my psyche. Then I started to recover a little bit. And I started to... Be open up to people a little bit the older I got. It really started to happen around 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Um... Oh! Oh! So I tried to swim in lava. Uh, it's too deep to collect that way, babe. So I'm just deleting some of these death points. There's been a lot of them. So, sad news being, I think I destroyed my body that had all of that gear on it. And all of that ore. I'm kind of disappointed. That is not cool. That is just not kosher, people. Um, but anyways. Um... It doesn't mean I'm any more particularly crazy. Basically, what we believe happened is I started to be more open and vulnerable. Um, and my brain and psyche got used to finally being able to express those emotions for the first time. In, well, the first time it felt safe and I felt safe enough to do it. In many, 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 many years. Um, then a lot of things happened between friends who betrayed me... An ex-wife who betrayed me. And, and I'm not going to get into specifics about any of this. Um, it's very likely that at least one of these parties will find these videos at some point. And I don't need the drama. I don't need the... Oh, it was your fault because of this. Oh, it was my fault because of that. I, I don't need any of that. These people are out of my life. And it's just easier this way. Um... I still care about all of the people involved. Um, I still talk to them on very few occasions just because I miss the friendships I once shared. But at the same time, I don't want to antagonize the situation any, and I really don't need to antagonize the situation any. There's no purpose in doing so. So I'll just try to give you guys a brief overview of... Some of these details, but other stuff I'm not going to be as fully open about, and that's not because I don't want to be, that's because I feel it's necessary to protect my privacy and to keep things on a level keel. Um, but there was a lot of betrayal that happened, and I shut down again. I stopped being vulnerable even to those closest to me at that point in time and my brain we think my brain basically rebelled against it and it created other personalities to express the emotions that because of my life i've had a hard time expressing um but in order to do that it had to create a personality that didn't have those problems expressing those emotions and that's where the rub comes in. That's where it made it very, very difficult. Um, my very first, what's referred to as an alter, alternate personality, is a very young female who's dependent on everybody around her for everything. And yeah, 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 I don't like it at all. Um, but it was what my brain felt I needed, I guess, so...
And we gotta deal with it. I've come to acceptance of the disorder and of my other altars and that one. But that altar still makes me squeebie jeebie and I, I'm not in I, I don't have a particular fondness for that altar. Um The good news so far is it seems like my wife, whenever she's around, is able to control the altars. No matter which one we're talking about, they'll listen to her. So I just have to think about things and take precautions that normal people don't have to think about. That's really the only difference between you and me, or me and anybody else, is there's things I have to consider before I do things that normal people don't. Um, I don't drive alone. Um, if I drive, I don't... Um, I, make I try to make sure if I'm going anywhere public, Amber's with me in case an altar decides for whatever reason to pop its way out. Um, I, and I just learned to deal. I mean, there, there's not much else I can do. It's going to be a part of my life. It's going to be something I face, something I struggle with. And I've just got to do my best, really. There's not much else I can really do about it. So, yeah. I don't know if we talked about in the first video PTSD. Um, most people are familiar with that. Um, a lot of abuse victims suffer from it. A lot of soldiers suffer from it. Rape victims suffer from it. Yeah, I have different instances of PTSD, which just means that I have flashbacks. I, yeah, it was a traumatic event that I haven't quite learned how to deal with, basically. And we're working on all of these issues through therapy and medication. Uh, the hardest part for me is medication, For to be honest. I hate meds. I always have. I always will. I was on meds from the for ADHD and OCD from the time I was... Ugh! You son of a... Biscuit eater, die. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, die, 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 just die, die. Away. But yeah, that about sums up my mental health experiences. Um, I'll continue to play a little bit more, and if any thoughts pop out to me, I'll edit them. I'm mostly just sitting here doing this kind of crud because, uh, yeah, there's nothing much else for me to do right now. I need resources, and I think Minecraft just.